obedience to God's instructions determine your rank? How did Jesus get the name above all names? That journey, it was through obedience. Obedience to the will of the Father, obedience to the instructions of the Father, moment by moment. Moment by moment. In Philippians 2, verse 5 to 11, he said, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not think the Godhead a thing to be grasped, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a servant, a born servant, and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient. Obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. The name, the name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Now, how did he get there? Obedience. Obedience adds to your rank and subtracts from your rank. Do you know sin cannot cancel God's purpose? Obedience can disobedience can cancel God's purpose for your life. Unwillingness to submit to God's process. Disobedience. Now look at Jesus. Do you know Bible says in Hebrews uh, 5 8 that even though he was a son, yet he learned obedience. By the things which he suffered. When he says he learned obedience, it means he learned submission. Submission and obedience, they are the same. Submission and obedience, they are the same. That's the way to authority. Unless you are submitted to something and obedient to something, you will never walk in authority. Because authority is not in a vacuum. Now, when Jesus Christ came, he was born as a son. There are four, four stages or four areas where he was called son. He was born as a son. But when he went to Jordan to be baptized, he had been following the father for 30 years. Obedience to God's timing. 30 years. No ministry. No nothing. Just following process. When he showed up in Jordan, the father said, This is my son, in whom I'm well pleased. And he had not done any work of ministry. He had just been following the father, the father's program. That built, that built his stature, that he learned obedience through the things he suffered. Then when you go to Matthew 17, when he, they were on the Mount of Transgression, and then the, 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 the cloud of glory came. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. L hear him. Listen to him. Another level of authority. Now he was worthy to be heard. Now God himself said, now my son is ready for you to listen to him. Why? After this time he had been tested. The first time in Jordan... He had not gone through any test. He had just been obedient to the father's process. He said, I'm pleased in him. In him. Not with him. In him. Second time, the father said, now, he led him to the water. Then the, the next time he said, now, this is my son. I'm pleased in him. But now, he qualifies for you to hear him. Another confirmation of authority. Hear him. So he was born a son, baptized as a son, confirmed as a son. But that was the highest level of authority that was given to him. That one did not come until he died. When he died, in Acts 13 33, Bible says, When he died and God uh, raised him from the dead, God said, You are my son. This day I've begotten you. That was the highest level of sonship he attained. That's why he said he was obedient unto death and death on the cross. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him the name. 
So his obedience is what built his rank as a man anointed by the Holy Spirit. Jesus did not cut corners. He went through the process. He learned obedience through the things he suffered. His obedience to the will of God. So, our obedience that leads to sacrifice they add to our rank. They add to your rank. Not only sacrifice, not just sacrifice. Sacrifice that is not done out of obedience or love, you are just hurting yourself. But sacrifice done in obedience will add to your rank. They, these are things that determine rank in the, in the kingdom. Obedience was so important that he had to learn it by experience. Any obedience that does not cost you, the level, the degree to which the obedience costs you, the degree to which it can be added to your right. That's why anytime Paul was challenged, anytime Paul's apostleship was under threat or challenged, Paul didn't point to the anointing on his life. He never pointed to the anointing on his life. How he raised the dead. How he, he cast out devils. How he healed the sick. Do you know how I've raised the dead? I'm an apostle because I've raised the dead. No. Look at Paul's credentials. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 22. Look at Paul's credentials. When Paul's apostleship was challenged, look at his credentials. He said, are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, in stripes, above measure, in prisons, more frequently, in deaths, often. From the Jews, five times I received 40 stripes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rocks. Once I was told, Three times I was shipwrecked, and night and the day I've been in the deep. In journeys, often. In perils of waters, often. In perils of robbers. In perils of my own countrymen. In perils of the Gentiles. In perils in the city. In perils in the wilderness. In perils in the sea. In perils among false brethren. In weariness and toil. In sleeplessness, often. In hunger and thirst, in fastings, often in cold and nakedness. Beside the other things, what comes upon me daily, my deep concern for all the churches. These were Paul's credentials. The reason why he could say he was an apostle. What is my credential? What is your credential? What is our credential? What asked you are rank? Paul never mentioned how he brought Ithacus back to life. Or how he cast out the devil from the, from the girl who was possessed. He never mentioned those. He mentioned the things he has suffered because of obedience. What have you been through? Because of obedience. It is adding to your rank. The sacrifice the adjustments, the denials because of obedience, the rejection, the sufferings because you chose to live right, the persecution, they add to your rank, they add to your stature. You see, there are some people who may be going through things. Maybe somebody is threatening to withhold something unless you give your body to the person. And if you say no, it means you have to be referred for one more year. Go through. Let them refer you. Let them refer you. Authority does not just come through laying of hands. No, 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 no. Where you are hurt, that is where you receive authority to heal. By his stripes, we are healed. So, the process you go through may not be pleasant, but the grace that will 
accrue from the process. You see, there are some things you go through is because God wants to give you authority. You may be going through challenges and then you are just praying, 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 praying. No solution. Pray. Keep praying. A time will come where the spirit of might will visit you. You will develop your spiritual muscles. A time will come where you can carry many people on your shoulders because of the capacity you have built over years, over the period. There are some who built capacity when they went through stuff they didn't understand and they had to endure. When they went through issues and they had to endure, they were building capacity. 